Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can find and display the best selling product in table or matrix visualization. So generally we create a table like this one over here and which is an aggregated table so it is showing you the subcategory and their respective sales. Now for the subcategory I want to show what is the best selling product so this can be one of the requirement let's say from your user okay you are showing me the subcategory and sales can you show me what is my best selling product in this which is like additional information just so that you know people will get an idea which product is being sold the most so that is something which i want to show you in this video and before i go ahead just a quick information that uh, this link is uh, is basically present in the description and uh, this is a link for the live Google sheet where all of my previous videos are present and you can search any of my video and jump on to that in using the link which is in the column P also since it is a it's, it's a live video uh, live Google sheet all of my future videos will be present here so I'm making sure I am keeping an inventory so that it is easy for you to search for your learning requirement so keep it as a bookmark and uh, whenever you need anything related to power bi you can come here all right with that let me go to here in subcategory sales and over here what do i have is basically uh, like i said subcategory and sales it's a simple table visualization so if i just select this it's a simple table visualization right now i want to find the best selling product and for that I will going to create a measure right so I'll create a new measure and I will say best selling product in this case now first thing first is uh, best selling product can you can have a scenario where even you know you are getting a blank in the data set when it when the uh, power bi engine is doing the calculation so we need to make sure that we use the function which is first non blank right and then we basically specify uh, specify our expressions or specify our conditions so we want to find the very first one the top selling product so for this we will going to use the top n function so what is the what is the first uh, value we want to get first so one table table in case of a table which is an orders table we will going to specify the product name right over here so using the values function we will going to specify in this case in case of a values function we can specify table or column name so that top end can get what it needs to get the uh, value so product name right and here order by expression so what do we need is sum of sales we need the top selling product right you can get the top profitable product let's say as an exercise what you can do is you can repeat this formula for the exercise and find what is the product which is having more profit so i'm showing you the top selling product and then you display the top profitable product because you have a measure below to i believe sales where is or maybe above sales you will have a profit here you go so as an exercise you can do that so we have done this and we'll finish that by default it will be descending order and after column name we specify the expression expression since there is no expression that is required so by default we'll just give one to satisfy the condition because it needs something over there we will close this and now if I click OK my best selling product column is here which if I bring it over here this is what I get right and this is what is needed for your uh, for your uh, output as an output to this uh, example so for accessories you have Amazon basics for appliances you have 1.7 cubic foot so on and so forth for the rest of the values so that is what i wanted to show you in this video how you can find the best selling product for each of your subcategories similarly in for each region you can find it 
for uh, based on the dimension that you are showing you can you can basically find the best selling product according to that and then um, so this is one thing but i i was thinking about extending this and which i want to show you in a different video uh, which is about if this is my best selling product right so so far i am showing you the subcategory the sales and your user asked give me the name of my best selling product after getting the best selling product they asked okay what is the sales that is associated with the best selling product right so that can be a natural extension which i will show you in the next video so stay tuned for that and i'll meet you in the next video